take a look at this show, Fong Gui, work according to the rail part one. After the flood, created by Ricardo Pugumas. This is here at Showroom. And uh, I'm gonna come back, I see Fong here, and uh, oh gee, there's Chris Martin and Irving Sandler. This piece is titled Homage to Whistler. These are all part of his series, the ongoing series that he's doing based on the Broken Rail. This is a collage. We've got the Broken Rail. And uh, a lot of people recognize Fong as the publisher and uh, one of the founders of the Brooklyn Rail, at least in its reconstituted form, it started in 2000. But uh, he's also a very serious artist in his own right. Oh, this is a nice one. This is special delivery. It says in the press release that he uses a lot of uh, envelopes and mail and sort of found paper to do his pieces on. This is titled, Heavenly Above All. I believe that uh, Fong actually came to the United States as a uh, one of the boat people, refugees from uh, Vietnam. I've been watching his work for a while, and uh, the last couple of shows that I've seen, he actually did what I would call architectural installations or maybe architectural interventions where he uh, actually brings the work out from the wall and a lot of it is done with sheetrock and plexiglass. I think this is for Richard Serra. I kind of like his uh, subdued palette with the, the grays. Ultramarine blues are nice. This is titled Soja Azari Wash and Whiteout. And uh, it's kind of fun because he's uh, you know, riffing on a Jasper Johns, but uh, he's using Soja Azari's name, repeating it and breaking it up in different ways. Fong has got a lot of uh, fans. Oh, and there's the great Jonah Minkus, one of the great people. Could I talk to you for a second, Jonah? Yes. What? Tell us what you think of uh, Fong's new group of work. Great. You're a big fan, right? Yes. And you've been a, been a follower of his work for quite a while. Yes. <laughs> Fong is a great guy, and he does. Uh, it's nice to have a chance to see it out of the studio, right? Yes, yes, yes. It's a very nice gallery, and it's good to see. I mean, you can, you can see this kind of work in his home. So it's yes. This occasion to Good, good, good. All right. Thank you very, thank you very much, Jonah Minkus. <laughs> well, there was uh, one of the uh, local legends. It's titled Number One. Wash watercolor, oil crayon whiteout with collage elements. Also says in the uh, press release that Fong lost uh, about 20% of his work when his studio was flooded earlier this year. This is titled Notre Dame de Saint Rosary, and it's uh, it's actually kind of ironic because as this opening is taking place, we're actually waiting for the arrival of Hurricane Sandy. We're going to talk with Tamara Gonzalez and, and Linnea. And Linnea. <laughs>
Yeah. Give us a little appreciation of Fong. You've been friends, a friend of Fong for quite a while, right? I have. Fong is a rock star. We he love is. Fong. I heart Fong. I never. <laughs> um, Multi-talented social sculpture. Has kept his own work going. Always has a, a good hand for a fellow artist. Also. He's also been very generous and has helped a lot of uh, young artists and young critics, especially, sort of break into the. Uh, the art world and start getting their work published. Yeah, he's been so generous and supportive. Have you had work published in the Brooklyn Rail? I have. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you. And Fong has always been so supportive of coming to my studio and um, just being incredible. And it's so great that this work is so focused considering how much other work we have, how many other jobs Fong has. So yes. I'm really impressed and proud and, and very happy to be here. All right, we love Fong. Yeah. Thank you, ladies. Well, this is a nice, fairly large piece. This is titled All in the Family. The wash water coilet, oil crayon white out with collage elements. And, uh, I see a lot of maps kind of uh, as a repeated subject matter and uh, also Fong uses a lot of, I guess what you'd almost say is childlike imagery of uh, primitive drawings, but they're actually very sophisticated and uh, they had great little punctuations of color. dance and uh, as a matter of fact during one of my recent studio visits with Fong kind of discussing how he was going to be uh, dealing with the presentation of these works and uh, I was thinking he wanted to sort of have plexiglass tables that would attach to the walls I think this is a very good solution for one of the more sophisticated pieces. some transfer in there maybe too. Wash watercolor oil cream white out with collage elements. I think, uh, one of the problems with the photography is that people like to come up and uh, really spend some time reading these. <laughs> Elbow them out of the way to get in and get some video of these pieces. This is titled Elizabeth Baker. And uh, Elizabeth Baker, or as a lot of people know, Betsy Baker was the editor of Art in America for about uh, 20 years. And I think a lot of these uh, pieces are dedicated to some of Fong's friends and acquaintances. There's Betsy Baker, she showed up. spatial quality to it. Oh, hey, there's Ron Gorchoff. Posterity. Yeah. Somebody's posterity. Do you guys have any uh, any thoughts or kind words you'd like to say about our friend Fong? 
That's right, it is amazing. It's amazing. But he's amazing. There are several phones, and one of them is working all the time very hard making this work on paper and these instruments. And one of them is actually right behind one you. One of them is right there, and the light off his right head is blinding me. Oh my god! We love Fong. We love you. We love you, Fong. Ship. I think Paul must have a stamp that says made in Brooklyn. I've seen that a couple times. St. Lawrence Seaway. Provinces of Canada. Okay, so it's, we finally caught up with Fong. Yes. Okay, congratulations on the show. Thank you, thank you. W one of your uh, adoring my, friends here. This is here. your son, named after my mother. Oh. My niece, my buddy. <laughs> and, uh, Beautiful girls. Tell us a little bit about the show. Uh, it's all about my revisiting Saint Exupéry, especially the book Night Flight. Which I love, and uh, you know the rail and the little prince, the little prince, of course. And uh, it's just trying to be playful and get back to my childhood memory. Well, you hang out with these people, and it helps, you know. Yeah. How long have you been working on this group of work? I think 18 of them was made since April. I have a flood. That's why it's called the flood. Yes. Well, let's hope that this place doesn't flood. We've got a hurricane coming. Well, thanks for coming. <laughs> okay. I, I, you can see people made the effort in spite of the obvious, you know, in. Well, you know, you're a very uh, treasured, treasured member of the community, and everybody loves your social sculpture and uh, what a lot of people think is a newspaper, but it's actually a lot more than that, the Brooklyn Rail. And uh, anyway, thank you all. Thank you. You did a great thank job. You your work. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. Fong. See ya. Congratulations. Thanks, Kate. <laughs> this is James Com reporting on Fong Gui. Work according to the rail part one after the flood. Here at showroom. The show is curated by Ricardo Kugelmas. Thank you, Kate. That was beautiful. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you.